Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 14.2, Problem 10. This is Section 14.2, Problem Number 10. It says a closed wooden box with a square base is to be made that has a capacity of 1,000 cubic centimeters. That's actually not that big of a box. It says what is the minimum amount of wood that would be required to construct such a box? So I think it helps a lot if you have a picture so you can visualize what's going on. So you have a box, it's made of wood, and it has to contain a thousand cubic centimeters. It has a square base. So the length and the width we can both label as x. The height may or may not be the same. We can't know that, so we'll just call the height y. So you want to have that much volume, but not use too much wood. So the surface of the box, called S for surface, which will measure how much wood, you'll have a top and a bottom that are both x by x. So you're going to have x squared for the surface area, and there's one on the top, one on the bottom, so there's two of those, 2x squared. And now you have four sides, a front, a back, a left, and a right, that have area x times y, right, the length times the width. So 4x times y. So again, the 2x squared comes from the surface of the top and bottom of the box, and the 4xy are the four sides of the box, front, back, left, right side. So this is our function that measures how much wood we have to use based on the dimensions of the box. So again, we're going to want to take the derivative of s, set it equal to zero, solve for our variable. The problem being, though, two variables. We have to write it in terms of one variable, either all x or all y. We can't have two variables. So how are we going to get it down to one variable? Well. Use the fact that it has to be a thousand cubic centimeters. So that thousand has to come from the base times the width times the height. So x times x times y, which I can simplify as x squared times y. So that's got to multiply out to a thousand. So I could solve that for x or for y, but because of the second power of my x, it's easier to solve for y. Let me divide both sides by x squared. Divide by x squared, divide by x squared. So the part with the y, the x squared on top, x squared on the bottom, just cancels. So I have 1,000 over x squared is equal to y. So now that I know that, I can go back to my function for surface area and write it in terms of only one variable. Let me take the value of y and substitute it in. So now s equals 2x squared plus 4x times, well, y can be written as 1,000 over x squared. So now it's just one function, one variable. I can clean it up a little bit, that 4x times 1,000 over x squared. Let me neaten that up a little bit. So before I do any calculus yet, s equals 2x squared plus, so you're going to have 4 times 1,000, it's going to be 4,000. Now x squared on the bottom and x on the top, I can cancel one of the two x's on the bottom with the x that's up in the numerator. That x on the bottom, I can leave it in the bottom, but since I'm going to be taking a derivative, let me write it in the numerator as x to the negative 1. So now there's my function of surface area in terms of one variable that's been simplified. Now we're going to do s prime. We're going to take the derivative. So s prime equals the 2x squared will have a derivative of 4x to the first. Again, that comes from the exponent of 2 coming down times the number in front of another 2. 2 times 2 is 4 x to one less power, that second power drops to the first power. Now the 4,000 x to the minus one, that has a derivative of minus 4,000 x to the minus two. Now again, that's coming from the exponent of minus one coming down times the number in front of 4,000. Minus one times 4,000 is 
4,000 is minus 4,000. And then the exponent drops 1. So it goes from a negative 1 power down to a negative 2 power. You've got to pay attention when it's negative. So now that's my derivative. That's the s prime. So now I can set it equal to 0. So 4x minus 4,000. Instead of x to the negative 2, let me write this as 4,000 over x squared. That's the same as 4,000 x to the negative 2. Looks a little bit more natural like that. I'm going to say that that's equal to 0. So let me bring the 4,000 over x squared over to the right side of the equals. It'll make it positive. So I'll have 4x equals 4,000 over x squared. Now, what makes this look like it's very difficult to solve is the fact that I have a variable in the denominator here, the x squared in the denominator. That is not something I want to deal with. I can fix that easy enough. Whatever your denominator is, as long as I multiply on both sides times that value, I can do that. So I'm going to go to the left side of my equation times x squared is equal to the right side of my equation times x squared. So on the left, x squared times 4x is 4x cubed. And on the right side, 4,000 over x squared times x squared. The x squareds cancel, leaving me with 4,000. Now I can divide out the 4 very easily. Divide the left side by 4, and I'll have x cubed. Divide the right side by 4. 4,000 divided by 4. I have x cubed equals... 1,000. Now, to solve for x, the easiest bet, this is not something you need to factor because there's no x squared next to the first. Um, I can just do cube root of the left side, which will be cube root of x cubed, equals cube root of the right side, cube root of 1,000. So cube root of x cubed, the cube root and the cube undo each other, you just have x, and cube root of 1,000 is 10. Again, cube root means what number times itself three times gives you the number under the root. Well, 10 times itself three times is 1,000. So x is 10. So going back to my box, the base is 10 in either direction. Now, how about the height? Well, I have here that y equals 1,000 over x squared. So 1,000 over 10 squared is y. So 1,000 over 10 squared is 100 equals y. And 1,000 over 100, you get that the height y is also 10. So the best dimensions for your box are a 10 by 10 base and a 10 height. And that's all in centimeters. And that'll give you 1,000 cubic centimeters of volume that are required and use up the least amount of wood.